Praise God. Right. Welcome to Friday night at the Arizona Deliverance Center. Bless you tonight. All right, our next seminar is uh, on spirit spouses. They're running rampant in the United States right now because of all the promiscuity and sexual perversion in this country. Spirit spouses have their pick of the litter, taking Christians captive, and the spirit spouses are in trouble that night. We're, we're having Kelly do it. Yeah, they are. They're in trouble. All right. My ministry's changed on the radio, so I'm on at different times now. And I'm also on on the weekends on 10, 10 a.m. Yep. I'm always on uh, soundcloud.com slash hardcore-christianity and get the radio programs there 24-7. Last Friday was our biggest altar call we've ever had when Rick was here. Was anybody here last Friday? Yeah, I, I heard it was booming. And uh, he's he doing fantastic. He's here first Friday of every month. Okay, He'll be here to teach. <laughs> And if you switch over from Google to Good Search and put in our ministry name, Hardcore Christianity, they'll pay us when you surf the net. All of our uh, YouTube channels are right here. We have four of them. Tonight's is being broadcast on House of Healing AZ. Our Thursday night meetings are on our live stream channel right here. Okay? If you uh, know someone that needs deliverance, you can send me an email and I'll send you one of these one or two of these lists, so you can take the person through the deliverance process step by step, and they can get healed in your state or in your country. I send dozens of these out a week, and they work. YouTubers, your job is to follow Matthew 18 and open up a terror cell in your church and start terrorizing the devil. Yeah. Start picking off the sick people one at a time. All you need is two or three for a terror cell, according to Matthew 18. Okay? Use your church as a mission field. That's how you do it. Hey, thank you for your donations. Remember, if you need a receipt for last year, I'd be happy to give it to you. You can email me or call me or whatever you want to do. All tax deductible. You can also donate to the ministry on the website. Thank you for that. A lot of radio people donate there. Appreciate it very much. Okay. It's risky going here, but I'm going to do it. Uh, all of you have run into people that you meet that have other personalities. Some family members, people at church, you. There's another person in there. It's like there's two, two people in one person. And you've noticed sometimes that switch occurs. It's almost like a click in the brain. And this other personality suddenly comes out, depending upon... The environmental stimulus simulation. You're talking to somebody and they seem like they're this person, and then some little thing sometimes or something, and suddenly click <coughs> another person's talking to you. And it's a different attitude, a different look on their face. It's almost like they become somebody else. Sometimes their eyes change colors. Uh, <clears throat> this is commonly triggered through anger or lust. Another person comes out. I just did a radio show. I did a radio show for next week about a pastor came out with this book about wonderful marriages. And after this book was going to be published, a, a girl came out and went to the media and told them that he had sexually harassed her 20 years ago when he was a youth pastor in another church. And uh, 
I went through that on the radio show, and it was a perfect illustration of what I'm going to teach tonight. This youth pastor took this girl. She was 17 at the time. She wanted a ride home. He wanted to give her a ride home. And suddenly, this other person manifested in this youth pastor. <clears throat> he took her out to a deserted road, stopped the pickup, and forced her to do perform oral sex. Right in the middle of it, the other personality came back, the real person. And he yells, he says, what am I doing? This is crazy. And he stops it, and he starts crying, and he begs her to forgive her. You're talking to somebody, and something ticks them off, or they start to get mad or something, and all of a sudden, this other person comes out. It's really weird. Has anybody ever seen that? It's almost like a switch gets clicked, and there's another person talking to you. It's amazing. This pastor never done that before, never did it since, never happened again. But this other personality took over, and he assaulted that girl. Yesterday, a guy got convicted of killing his girlfriend's puppy. The puppy peed on the floor while she was gone. This other person manifested. He took the puppy, got a knife, chopped the puppy up, cut the puppy's head off, and put the puppy's head on the table. This was just on the news yesterday. He just got sentenced. And left the head sit there. <coughs> and this other person comes out. You're talking to somebody normally, and they seem fine. Click. <coughs> Something switches in there. I thought I'd go through that with you tonight. Maybe... Explain that a little. Could have been a mistake. <laughs> oh, well, I'm stuck. I'm going to go with it. James chapter 1 8 mentions this, and this verse never made sense to me years ago when I was a new Christian. Make a lick of sense at all. It says, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. And I got to thinking about that. And I said, wait a minute, everybody's double minded. Aren't they? I mean, nobody ever is consistently the same all the time. Everybody makes mistakes or forgets things or says they'll do something and won't, fails here and doesn't fail there. I never understood that until I took a closer look at this verse. That person is a dipsicus, a person that has two souls. Now the verse started to make sense. Somebody with two souls is a very unstable person. You can't rely on them. You walk around near them and you're on eggshells. You don't really know what's going to click that person off. They have a strange other person living inside of them. They're a dipsicus, somebody who has two souls. Here's how it works. The one soul is your God-given soul that you were born with. That's the real you. Everybody has a real soul. The other soul, the fake one, is built through trauma and abuse. A person develops a fake soul usually as a defense mechanism, usually as a coping mechanism to survive after they've been brutalized emotionally. And the demons use this fake soul to take over the real soul 
and eventually the fake one usually takes over the real one if it's not dismantled. A dipsychus is here. Someone with dissociative identity disorder is here. A DID patient is a dipsychus on steroids. Very few dipsychus individuals ever developed dissociative identity disorder. But this fake soul in the person, they're not mentally ill, this phony soul is a, like a real person. Only it's not the real person. It's somebody different. There's two persons involved. Check it out. What happens to someone that has a dipsychus? They have all kinds of fights and arguments and strife and things in their lives. This was a guy Batman had to face, I think. Remember him? What was his name? Two-Face. This guy here was a totally different person from that other one. People have two persons living in them at the same time. A real soul and a fake soul. That they have built and evil spirits have built to cope with trauma and deep emotional pain. This fake soul is the one that has all these strange voices coming out of. Different personalities. Strange attitudes. This fake soul causes the person to do things that they wouldn't normally do. You see it on the news all the time. This other soul took over and that guy cut that puppy up. You see it on the news all the time. Oh man, I can't believe it. He wasn't. No, he was a great neighbor. No, he was out here playing with my kids. They were doing. He's a swell guy. He just murdered. There's another person in there. But it's not the it's not a real person. It's a fake dipsychus, a fake soul. Let's take a quick look at a couple of examples and then we'll be done. Okay. You've heard of the tribe of Benjamin? Yep. Yeah. All right. Now they were an unusual tribe. How many tribes were there? Twelve tribes and the Benjamin tribe ha, they were they were freaks They had all kinds of uh, Unusual peculiarities to them. Okay, and here's some of them. They were skilled at war and archery They fought all the time. They were having civil wars all the time They were the ones who were the rapists and judge judges chapter 19 They were violent fighters the symbol of the tribe of Benjamin was a, a wolf. They were always engaged in civil war, fighting with all the other tribes. And two interesting people came out of the tribe of Benjamin. You got one soul here, you got one soul there. You got Paul, and you got Saul. Polar opposites. Check it out. King Saul was a dipsychus. First Samuel 16, therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse, that was David's father, and said, hey, I love this kid. He's fantastic. Go get the boy watching the sheep and bring him in to my kingdom. What's the next thing you run into? Yep. Saul's dipsychus, his fake soul, manifests, and his behavior and his attitude totally different than it was before. How, what was the trigger? The fake soul is always triggered by something in the person's environment. Almost 100% of the time. Not quite. Something in the environment, in the person's life, triggers them. And that other self comes forward. The person is normally a mild-mannered, friendly person. But they're nagged half the death by their spouse. 
and boom they blow up break two chairs throw something through the door then they don't do it again for years what happened there that fake soul in there the double-minded soul manifested and this person blew a gasket yeah Is it a fragmented soul? It, it could be, but the fake soul has all the fragments in it. The broken fragments, the dysfunctional fragments, the pain fragments. Yeah, so it would contain that, yeah. You've all met people that act this way in certain environments, and they act that way in another. King Saul was fine until jealousy caught him. Jealousy triggered the fake soul Here see that and here's how it happened. He said hey He's gonna want my whole kingdom and from that day forward Saul saw David differently Here's another day the Bible says on tomorrow the evil spirit from God came upon Saul and he prophesied in the midst of his house We see that a lot in Christianity nowadays with kundalini spirits they think they're prophesying from God, but they're actually demons. Well, King Saul was prophesying through evil spirits here. And David would play his harp, and he would calm himself down. What's the revelation there? I've seen this dozens of times over the years in counseling. Spirits manipulate the person's fake soul and cause them to be a double-minded Christian. They're this way at church, loving, friendly, normal, and at home, the other soul manifests and takes over, yelling and screaming and fighting, calm, friendly, and hallelujah at church. If everybody saw that person, they would say they're crazy. They're not crazy. They're double-minded. They have a fake soul yes um, that described me to the T when I get into these rages I call them there's no way to stop it and when it's over it's like a tornado just went through and then I'm calm again it's like I'm not even like that yeah that's right I see you in the spirit read the Bible for an hour I hear yeah. from God oh beautiful when I'm in that thing there's no way I can hear from anything yeah I just want revenge you hear that did you hear what he said Oh, this guy's perfect. He bailed out my teaching. <laughs> this guy's a perfect dipsicus. We'll show you how to fix that later, sir. You're jumping ahead of me. Okay? He has a fake soul. This other soul has a mind of its own run by spirits. The spirits use the fake soul to manipulate the person and try to overtake the real soul. Notice he said, when it's over, I'm, I can read the Bible, I'm praying, I'm acting normal, and then there's a, some kind of trigger for the other one, which he didn't share. There's usually a trigger for that second fake soul to manifest. Something triggers it. Exactly. The real person doesn't want to do it. See, the real person's in there, but this fake soul wants revenge. Well, Saul was like that too. Here he is. David's calming him down by uh, playing, and suddenly, out of the blue, the other soul, the fake soul, the double-minded soul, takes over, and what happens? He picks up a javelin and tries to kill him. Out of the blue. Boom, he fires. It happened two times. Then Saul switched on Jonathan. Here he's a loving, friendly father for Jonathan. Jonathan was 100% faithful to his dad. And suddenly something triggered, and that other soul manifests 
and he attacks his own son. He tells him they should kill David. So Saul sought to kill David with the javelin, and he slipped out of Saul's hands, and he threw the javelin in the wall, and David hit the, hit the road. And Saul's anger kindled against Jonathan. The real Saul didn't treat his son like that, but his jealousy over David triggered the fake soul. And the fake soul attacked his own son. This parent is fine with their kids, but when the child does this behavior or that one, the other soul, the fake one, manifests in the parent, and they become a completely different person. The dad during the day is fine, but lust triggers him at night, and he sneaks into her room and molests her after everybody else has gone to sleep. The real soul wouldn't do it. It's the fake one caused by wounds, and rejection, and pain. The demons use to get the person to do things they don't want to do. That pastor on my radio program next week that molested that girl couldn't believe he was doing it. In the middle of it, he stopped. Something pushes you to do things you don't want to do. And you do it knowing it's wrong. But you still do it. You're double-minded. It's a fake soul in the purse. Do not I know that you have chosen the son of Jesse to your own confusion? And then he insults his own son by making a comment about his mother. Back then, that was the same thing as we have nowadays. When you get mad at somebody and you say, yo mama. That was as bad a thing you say somebody as assault their mother. His own dad insults his own son, but that was not Saul, that was the other Saul. See? Many people have another person living inside them, and they completely act differently under certain types of circumstances. They become like another person. Happens all the time. And it says, King Saul was chasing David. You know the story, right? 1 Samuel 24. And David sneaks up on him at night, cuts part of his robe off, runs across the river, right? And he says to him, hey, listen, I could have killed you over there. And Saul, the real Saul, saw that, and the real soul repented and wept because of what David did. You see that? He's a dipsicus. He says, you are more righteous than I. You have rewarded me good, and I rewarded you evil. Here's King Saul, but that's not the fake soul. That's real, the real person manifesting. And by the end of the book of Chronicles of Samuel, the fake soul took over Samuel, and he died. Everybody that has a fake soul, every dipsicus, every double-minded person, always ends up bad. The fake soul, if it's not dismantled and removed, always gets bigger and stronger over time. Eventually, a person is gone. It happens all the time. To old elderly males, you know what they call them? Crotchety old men. What happened? The other soul, the nasty one, the critical one, the ugly one, the impatient one, takes over.
First Samuel 28 and Saul said to his servants Find me a woman that has a familiar spirit. What happened there? The fake soul takes over what was the stimulus? What was the trigger? It wasn't jealousy over David this time. It was fear of dying Fear Commonly triggers a fake soul of a person to manifest They say and do things when they're afraid they would never normally do King Saul's fake soul his dipsychus manifested and he goes to get information from a familiar spirit first Chronicles 10 guess what it cost him Every person that has a fake soul that doesn't do anything about it and keeps feeding it and keeps letting it get stronger always ends up Dying ugly And King Saul died for his transgression not listening to the Word of God and seeking a familiar spirit If you know someone that has this condition or you have it we must dismantle it tonight because it always gets worse it never gets better if you leave it there you don't dismantle it it always grows and over time you get sicker and sicker and this other person <coughs> starts to take over your personality it happens to addicts all the time I realize that um, Saul was commanded by the prophet to do certain things, and he didn't do it. And and, and I just want to testify real quick. God, God told me to get rid of my phone. It's a moto, you know. I just got it. It's like seven hundred twenty dollars. I didn't want to get rid of it because the cost of it. You know what I mean? God said, "Get rid of your phone." And so I was like, "Oh!" Every time I touch this phone, I feel a bad connection to it. And God was telling me to get rid of it. So when you hold on to those idols of the world. And they idolize it, that entity steps in. Every time I step that says that, I'll feel like just off. Okay, now I'm not sure how to answer that, but that seems a little bit different from what I'm talking about here. But what I was saying was I was just disobedient to what God was telling me to do. Yeah, now that doesn't mean that just because somebody's disobedient doesn't mean they're dipsychus or they have a fake soul. Everybody's okay. disobedient. Right. Everybody, nobody perfectly obeys God. Anybody in this section? No hands went up. <laughs> None. That. No, that's that's a different situation. Now let's take another look at a guy. Here's King Ahab. He was a dipsychus. Check it out. Israel in 926 BC. Here's what his history was. I ran. It, I, I wrote it down just briefly here. Elah reigned a year. And he was murdered by Zimri. Not Zidri. Zimri. <laughs> Zimri was king for seven days and he did what? Pulled a Tibetan monk, burned himself up. King uh, Tibni versus King Omri. They had a uh, civil war for four years. Omri won. And who's born out of this family? Constant fighting, constant wars, no father figure in his life, too busy fighting. Who was born out of that? Ahab. No dad, no affection, no love from a father. Ahab shows up. No bonding with his dad. So what does he do? He marries a Jezebel, a dominant female. His life is ruined. He becomes a whiny crybaby. King Ahab, the product of not having a decent father. Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord above all the other kings. And it came to pass, he took a wife, Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, 
What does that mean? Well, it means to be with Baal. Baal. He was the king of the Zidonians. He served and worshipped Baal. He reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, and he built it in Samaria. It came to pass when Ahab heard these words that he rent his clothes. What was that? This guy was sinning so much, and his fake soul had taken over to such a point. He disobeyed everything God asked him to do and did the opposite What happens when you don't grow up with a dad and don't have the affection and love from a father? Oh, the kid starts to develop rebellion He starts to develop frustration. He starts to develop anger Ahab had all of that everything God told him to do He thought about his dad if you have a screwed up father and you think your heavenly father is anything like your dad, you will have problems with God. Problems with grace, problems with forgiveness, problems with koinonia, the communion of the Holy Ghost. You will have a blocked relationship with your heavenly father if you sense he is similar to your dysfunctional dad. It happens all the time. A father who's distant and unloving and unaffectionate, the demons encourage the person to transfer that sense to God. And he then becomes unaffectionate, inattentive, unavailable. And the person grows up having no interest or desire in God at all. Their lives always end in disaster. Ahab grew up like that But Elijah the prophet came to him and told him hey Hell is coming to breakfast at your house. You're gonna die and so is everybody in your family Guess what happened Fear Triggered His real soul came back and suddenly Ahab the most wicked king in history repented because the real Ahab Manifested He repented and sat cloths and ashes Uh Oh Jehovah comes to Elijah. He says hey, you see how he's repented What he could have said was you see that's the real Ahab the one that people don't normally see the other Ahab the fake soul is the one that is an idolater a liar a murderer a gutless coward The real one manifested and he repents and Jehovah says listen Go tell him something because he humbled himself and he changed and repented. I will not Bring this judgment on him I'll bring it on the next generation. I'll let him off What was Jehovah noticing there when he looks at you if you have a fake soul he sees your real soul in addition to the fake one the demons built and father loves the real soul he does not love the fake soul that's why God can unconditionally love anybody because he can see through them he sees through you he sees the demons he sees the soul wounds he sees the fake soul that he's not Loving you are who he loves Amen. See you may be Hell on wheels, but underneath your insane life. There's a real you in there and the Holy Ghost and Nobody else has the ability to instantly see the real you when he looks at you Ahab 
incredibly evil this guy was at the bottom of the barrel got mercy from God notice the real Ahab manifested not that fake soul and that ugly evil one the king of Israel gathered the prophets together 400 men and they said shall I go against Ramoth Gilead remember this story yep Jehovah's sitting in glory can I explain this? No, I don't know what's going on. I'm just reporting the facts. I have no idea what's going on. I frequently do that. Uh, an evil spirit is in heaven. What the heck's he doing there? I don't know what he's doing there. He pops up in the throne room of Jehovah. How did he get there? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. He says, well, I'll go down there and I'll be a false spirit. Now I'll, I'll give Ahab and his prophets a fake prophecy. Wow, what a revelatory section of text in 1 Kings 22. 21st century Phoenix. All kinds of people running around who think they're prophets and they know all about stuff. They're prophesying stuff that's fake and phony and doesn't come true. Why? Yeah, they got familiar spirits just like he got. Well, all the prophets then said, hey, why don't you go to battle and guess what happens to him? He never got rid of that fake soul. He had a moment of clarity where he got mercy from God, but never got rid of the fake soul. And guess what? It cost him his life. A fake soul will cost you your life eventually. It will hunt you down. They said, go up. You're going to be delivered. And he wanted to what triggered this fake soul? Lust for glory and power. Pride. First Kings 22, a certain man drew a bow, and guess what? He shot it with Tome, with integrity, and guess what? It hit, hit him between the armor. He said, hey, turn me and carry me out of here. I'm wounded. What happened to him? Why? fake soul took over and he died that's right the fake soul took over in that movie psycho did you ever see that movie psycho nobody saw it huh well at my age I saw it it scared me half to death my parents when they were dating I wasn't around then when my dad took my mom to see that movie when it first came out and the next night my mom's taking a shower my dad comes over gets in the kitchen pulls out a knife heads into the bathroom Pulls this on my mom and starts going, ee, ee, ee. She never recovered. <laughs> to soothe her sadness and agony, they had me. And that fixed it. <laughs> They're doing great. <laughs> what happened in that movie? At the end of the movie, guess what happened? A fake soul took him. Yeah, don't you remember it? He's sitting there at the police station and he's not talking. Mother's talking. That would have been a good illustration had anybody seen that movie, but let's skip that and go on to this. I got to get better material. Luke chapter 5. Peter was a dipsicus. Oh, he's a classic, classic dipsicus. The real person would manifest, and then the fake one would manifest. Fake souls are triggered by something in the person's environment. Greed, lust, anger. Frustration something clicks 
and this other soul kicks in and takes over the real person and you're dealing with somebody that I can't believe this Many kids have mothers like that yeah. They're fine and suddenly the littlest thing and this other person starts manifesting frustrated angry hurt wounded violent it almost clicks like that another person comes out double-minded it's a fake person living in the body the real persons in the body so is the fake soul there are dipsicus somebody with two souls Simon Peter, Peter sees Jesus in Luke 5 and does what? The real Peter falls down begging for mercy. Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. He was astonished, and those with him. What triggered Peter's real soul in that story? He was awestruck by the miracle of the fishes. He saw a miracle from God and his real soul came forward and he was genuinely truthfully repenting anybody who does that gets a miracle from God who genuinely and truthfully repents that's what happened John chapter 6 Jesus is talking hardcore to the disciples He's teaching them stuff, nasty stuff. Stuff I wouldn't have the nerve to teach. He looks up and they all left him. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you said that. Drinking your blood? What are you, nuts? I'm out of here. Jesus turns around to the disciples and said, Hey, everybody left me. Are you going to go? And guess what happens? The real Peter answers him. The real Peter answered, Lord, where are we going to go? You and you alone have the words of eternal life. We believe and we are sure, Gnosko, we understand intellectually and we believe you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. My Father revealed it. Amen. See, Father and the Holy Spirit and Father only reveal things to the true person the real soul they never have anything to do with the fake one people who have fake souls can't get their lives straightened out with God it's a continual life of pain and suffering and failure because the Holy Ghost doesn't Deal with the fake soul. He wants the real person That was Peter that was the real Peter And he got a revelation from God you will too if you're real Check it out Matthew 16 Jesus is explaining to them that he has to die on the cross of Calvary. And he's gonna be gone He's gonna get butchered by the Jews and the Romans this thing's gonna get ugly. Peter, the fear of losing him, triggers the fake soul. He becomes a dipsicus. He's double-minded now. Fear triggers that phony soul to manifest in a person very quickly. So does anger. So does lust. Those emotions trigger that fake soul and the person then does things they would not normally do under normal circumstances. They say things they would never say in other circumstances. The fake soul from Peter now manifests and he says to Jesus incredibly Proslambano means to yank somebody aside.
a lot of Christians get so mad at God if he was here they just grab him and Peter's fake soul manifests and he yanks the Lord over here. What are you talking about? And it says he begins to rebuke him. That's the same Greek word used to describe rebuking demons. Peter's fear of losing the Lord triggered that phony soul in there and it manifested and he panicked. No, this can't happen to you. And Jesus said, guess who guess who manipulates people's fake souls? Spirits. The spirits use the fake soul. They put all the wounds, the negative thoughts, the heartaches, the, the disappointments, the rage, the hate, the bitterness, the racism, everything is all put in that phony soul that they create in the person's mind. And you're sitting there going, I can't believe he said that. I can't believe they did. What in the world? Well, what triggered that? What'd you say to him? What'd you do to him? I didn't do anything or say anything. Well, what happened? They don't understand this fake soul manifests and takes over the real soul and they become a totally different person it's it's unreal it was actually satan doing it you do not froneo you do not focus satan you don't focus on the things of god you're always focusing on the things of man. That's what Jesus said. Savor means to mentally focus on something. That's exactly a perfect description of the devil. Couldn't have been any better. He's always focusing his attention on something that, about humans that he can ruin and rape and rob. All he ever focuses on. Peter, when he flipped over to the fake soul, was doing exactly what the devil told him to do. When your your fake soul takes command, like that guy in the back, you do stuff you don't want to do. The real you doesn't want to do it. This person aggravated you so, so much you slapped them. Later on, how could I do that? What was I thinking? What happened? The other soul was triggered by some kind of negative emotion, and the person started to act like somebody else. Wife beaters do it all the time. Slap, 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 slap. I'm leaving you. Oh, no. The real person comes back. Oh, God, please don't leave. I'll change. I'll do better. I'll change. I'll call. The wife comes back not understanding what I'm teaching you tonight. They can't believe this person behaved that way because they told their counselor, he's not normally like that. He's really a good person. That's what they said. They are a good person. It's the other person living in there that's not a good person. That person is hell on wheels. Why can't my son change? Hey, he's got a fake soul. He's a dipsicus. He's double minded. The Lord said, Simon, hey, listen to this. Satan is hunting for you. What he wants to do, he wants to sift you like wheat. Translation, he wants to disintegrate you and destroy you. Then he wants to burn your soul in hell. But I've prayed for you.
the Bible says that Jesus is your current intercessor. Did you know somebody's praying for you tonight? Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Peter, who has a fake soul, Jesus knows all about it. Today, Peter is hallelujah, Jesus. This, this day, listening and serving Satan. One soul, the real person, wants to do what's right, as Paul said. The other soul wants to do everything wrong. If you don't dismantle that fake soul, if you have one, it will eventually take over your real one, and you will be lost. And when you are what? Converted. Well, he's already converted. Epistrepho. When you turn back from what you're going to do, what happens to him? The fake soul takes complete control of him. And the real soul said, hey, you know what? I'm not going to leave you. I'll, I'll go to, I'll die for you. Yeah. You ever, you ever talk to a Christian like that? Oh, of course you have. When, they're, when the real soul is talking to you and they've been blessed by the Lord spiritually, they're going, oh, man, I'm going to read my Bible tomorrow. Hardcore. I'm going to feed the homeless. I'm going to pray every day. I'm going to stop doing this and stop doing that. I'm going to start doing this and start doing that. You ever met a Christian like that? I have. Met several of them. And two days later, oh, they're back in the gutter. What triggered it is your question. Something triggers that fake soul to manifest. Could be fear. Could be jealousy like King Saul. Could be lust like King David. Oh, yeah. King David's real soul. He had a heart for God. He did. He was a Jehovah lover. But he walks out on the roof and something triggered his fake soul. How did he get a fake soul? He grew up in a family where his dad ignored him and his brothers dominated him. He was the runt of the litter. He was trashed as a family member. He was garbage. And a fake soul developed in King David. Why? You got to do something to survive. So he's out there with his sheep and he's Superman. Hey, I killed a lion. I killed a bear. I did this. I did that. Hey, out here in the field with the sheep, I'm somebody special. If I go home, I'm a total loser. Trash at home. The fake soul manifests top of the roof he looks over and sees her bathing and then the lust triggers the other soul David was a dipsicus he was a double-minded person the other soul took another man's life and murdered the husband oh you're not listening to me I'm not talking about people sinning or making mistakes. Everybody does that. I'm talking about a double-minded person. I'm talking about a dipsica, somebody who has a fake soul. The fake soul takes over the real soul. And the person says and does things they can't believe they said or did. <coughs> they arrested that guy and he said, I can't believe I cut that puppy's head off. He couldn't believe it. What triggered that guy? Click. Anger. The puppy peed on the floor. You say, well, that doesn't seem, seem uh, sensical. A second soul, a fake soul, is the opposite of common sense and sensical. It's demonic emotions. He turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You only focus on the things of men. He wasn't talking to Peter's fake soul anymore. He was talking to the person managing it. If you have a fake soul tonight, it must be dismantled and destroyed 
because that fake soul will eventually take your real one. I'm ready to go to prison with you. That was Peter, the real soul talking. Matthew 26, not long after that, what happened? He gets caught out by the fire. He's warming himself and he gets caught. And guess who shows up? The fake Peter comes back. He goes ballistic. Why? Fear triggers this altered state in a person's personality. They become something they themselves loathe. A person that has a fake soul, the person is tricked into rejecting themselves because they think that fake soul is their soul. Who told him that? The demons told him that. That's you doing that. That's you saying that. Look what you did. And then they condemn you for the fake soul they helped build and manage. Because they know when you reject yourself, your blessings from God end then. As soon as you turn on yourself, your blessings from God. Gone. Zero faith. Why? Well, I'm not worthy. Look what I did and look what it wasn't you. Some of you have two yous living in there. The devil told you. The fake soul is you. Look what you did. Look what you said. You're the biggest piece of garbage to ever live. That's what they tell you. They don't tell you the truth. That's a fake soul manufactured from childhood abuse. We built that soul. We managed that soul. We trigger that soul with jealousy and anger and rage and frustration. They don't tell you that. Why does Father keep loving you? Because he knows that. He knows that's not you. Amen, amen. Don't you see it? Hallelujah. You slap your wife, you beat your kids. Father knows that wasn't you. You're, you're, you're on heroin. You think that's you? Oh, friend. The other soul took you. You're a dipsicus. The fake soul took you over. The fake soul loves drugs. Hey, your speech betrays you. You, t you sound like a Galilean. That'd be like saying, say, us saying, hey, are you from the south? Same thing. They had a di in Galilee, they had a little different accent. So he's talking and say, hey, you don't know. You're one of them. What were they doing there? Prejudging. And the fake soul in Peter then manifests. And what happens? He starts cursing and swearing. This is the same guy that was running healing crusades earlier in Jesus' ministry. They went out two by two, casting out demons and raising the dead and healing the sick. That's the same guy. But it's not the same soul. Oh, no. This was the other one. And then the cock crows. The Holy Ghost reminds me that was a prophetic word. The Lord told you you were going to do that. What happens then? It triggers the real Peter. Listen, some people are so, to use a slang term, sick that this fake soul and the real soul come like that in in a moment's time and click back again I
a double-minded man, a dipsica, someone with two souls is unstable in all their ways. No kidding. Now this verse makes sense. Never made sense to me before. Peter is crushed because the real Peter saw what he did. He liked to die. Earlier that evening, the fake Peter manifests. He's scared to death. Jesus is going to be gone. He's getting arrested. You know what he does? Resorts to violence. Listen to me. This fake soul in people triggers violence in the person. Later on, the person can't believe they did it. I beat my wife. I, I, I did that to my kids. I abandoned. It wasn't them. It was a fake them. Some people have two persons living in there. And you know who they are because you see them manifest at work and at home and in your life, at church. You see these people, you know what I'm saying is true. I know you do. He tries to kill the guy. He pulls out the sword. He takes a swat at the guy to split his head open. The Holy Ghost moves him to the right a little. And only gets the ear. Had he got the guy's head, they'd all been dead. The Holy Ghost said, hey, only one person's dying tonight. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Not you guys. Malchus moves over there. Doesn't even know why he's moving. He's moving it. Oh. Yeah, there goes the ear. And there goes the Lord. Give me that ear. What was he doing there? Je Jesus saw Peter. He saw the other soul. Cut that ear off. Don't you understand it? God sees you. He knows it wasn't you. It was the other you that did it. I know. Yeah, when you were young, you hoard yourself out. You slept with everybody. That was the wounded, rejected, crushed you. That was the other soul whoring out. God knows that wasn't you. It was the other you. Jesus said, hey, put that up. Jesus did not have a fake soul. How far from it? Can't even read that. Listen, this other you, and you know he's in there. You know he's in there. You may not tell anybody. You may not admit it tonight, but I hope you do so we can get him out of there and get this thing dismantled. That thing hides in there. It's part of your inner man. It's attached to your mind. This fake soul, this double-minded thing, can control your thoughts. It can control your emotions. That's what soul is for, your emotions. And this fake soul is triggered by emotions, not thoughts. Performing a math problem doesn't trigger the second soul. The fear of failing the test could trigger it. I can't believe it. I went back on porn. It's unbelievable. Hey, dude. Father knows exactly why you went back on porn. The fake soul. The one with the insecurities, the rejection, the pains, the loneliness. That soul ran back to porn and drugs and sex Father knows you didn't want to do it Some people have two youth and one of them is bad 
very bad. This second soul, it, it's like magic. It just suddenly appears. It's utterly amazing how fast a person's personality switches over. One minute they're there, boom, the next minute. Unbelievable. Like another person is talking to you. James 4, how do you dismantle a fake soul? I'm glad you asked. That was the purpose of the evening. Thank you for that question. <clears throat> you must draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. See, people with fake souls, this fake soul is full of condemnation, shame, and guilt. This fake soul doesn't want anything to do with God. They think he's condemning them. They think he's... Hates them. You must fight through that tonight and draw nigh to God. If you do, He then takes a step right toward you. If you know you have a fake soul and you have an altered state inside you, all you have to do is confess it and admit it. Does everybody sin have a fake soul? Of course not. Everybody sins. If you have an altered state where you kind of become another person, rageaholic, lust, substance abuse, and it takes you temporarily, you're in bigger trouble than you ever dreamed. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. What's that? Why would he say that to Christians? Ah, thanks for asking. Harmatelos is the Greek word that is an adjective, Greek adjective. It means someone who practices sin, not somebody who sinned. So it could be either sinners, unsaved people, or Christians who are practicing sin, living in sin. Correct? He's talking about Christians now. Practicing living in sin. Why? The fake soul, the altered state, that's all it wants is sin. Your other self, it does many evil things, but you don't want to do them. It says, purify, purify your hearts, you dipsicus, you two-souled person. It's in the heart here. It's in your inner man. A fake soul. I had a couple, couple come in for marriage counseling last two weeks ago. This husband had a fake soul you wouldn't even believe. He was the nicest, quietest guy you've ever seen, but his, the kids or her triggered something in him. He would become a completely, he would explode. And the woman uh, was more of an introvert and more of a quieter person. And morally, she stayed in that relationship because of the kids and because she didn't want to disappoint God by getting a divorce. So this woman just lived with it. It had been going on for years. And she had learned a series of adaptive homemade methods of handling this guy. Eh? If he was napping or taking a nap or sleeping he would arrange that she would arrange the kids and so on to be out of the house not to trigger it because one of the things that triggered his fake soul was waking up 
by noises and Click it would go another thing was the TV Yeah Boom Change the channel Don't touch the television while your dad's what See people learn to manage other people's fake souls as best they can When they try to tailor their lives around these People to cause the least amount of disruptions Or they just run The real nightmare in life is people who get married You know why? They don't know anything about fake souls and they're marrying a person who has one and the fake soul always manifests after the wedding <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> After they marry this person with a fake soul they can't believe What happened? I've had a couple dozen cases over the years where it happened on the wedding night. That's correct. The, the tension and the intimacy of consummating the marriage triggered the other soul. Fear of going broke triggers fake souls like you wouldn't believe. You can't even imagine it. The thought of not having enough money to take care of me and whatever triggers that thing. It manifests huge. Thanks for ruining the Bible study, sir. <laughs> That's my next verse. Thanks, buddy. Can somebody write his, get a name address here? John. Of course, check this out. Romans 7. <laughs> He's teaching next week. <laughs> Romans 7, 7, look at Paul. He's describing his condition. Before he was saved and when he was a Pharisee, he was a double-minded, two-souled man. And look, here's, here's a perfect definition of it. There is several laws we must face as human beings. One of them is the law of melos, your body parts. It's a law of God, a creation law. I cannot pick things up. With my ears I cannot run with my face my hands do hand work my legs do leg work come on my head does head work correct I see a law in my mellows my body parts but that law warring against another law what is that the law of my mind trying to do what bring me into the law of sin the fake soul wants to use your emotions and your body to satisfy your lusts. And Paul said, in my mind, I want to do what's right. The real me, not the fake soul, the real soul, the real me, wants to do the right thing. But my body parts have needs. Too much sex, too much food, sensuality, lust of the flesh. Oh, wretched man that I am. No kidding. Nobody likes to live with a double minded person, somebody that has two souls, because you never know which soul you're facing, particularly in crucial moments of your life, particularly when you need support from somebody else. <laughs> 
when you need love from somebody else you're not sure who you're going to face that day it causes stress it causes tension parents that have two souls that act a certain way one day and a certain way the other day their children reject them and do the first chance they get they try to get away from them you know why because a two-souled person is unstable in all their ways. Children need stability. And the two-souled parent gives them nothing but instability. They never know who they're facing. The real soul, dad, or the other dad. And the children can't wait to get away from their parents. They can't wait to move out. They can't wait to go out and make their mark in the world. They can't wait to go out the door. Why? Because the parents are unstable. Two-souled people are unstable in all their ways. You can't trust them. What mood are they in? What's their attitude? What's going to happen today? Children, children need the opposite of that. They need stability. Consistency, refuge. A double minded parent is unstable in all their ways. The children, by the time they're 16, 17, 18, they can't wait to get out of the house. They want to go to college. They want to get married. They want to get a job. They want to get out the door. Why? Because their parents are double minded. They are two souled parents. One's the real soul, the other one is the nightmare soul. The insecurity one, the fear one, the negative one, the angry one, the bitter one, the frustrated one. Yeah. Who's going to deliver me from this what? Soma. Body. First he's talking about the body parts. Now he takes the whole body. This whole thing sucks. <laughs> I need to be delivered from this body because it's got a mind of its own. My second soul, Paul had to do what? He was a serial killer. He went around killing Christians and dragging them out of their homes. The guy was a murderer. The devil used his body parts to kill those people. Hey, what's going to happen to you if you don't fix this? Paul said it right here. It couldn't be any clearer. Your mind and your real self, your real soul, wants to serve God. You want to do what's right. You do. Uh-oh. A deluo is what? A slave. With the mind, he says, I am a slave to the laws of God. But this is a slave to somebody else. Something else. Your fake soul in there uses your body and your emotions to ruin your life. You die a failure, a loser. But your mind and the real you doesn't want to do it. You want to serve God. You want to do what's right. You want the Holy Ghost. You want to be holy. You want purity. You want the anointing. Yes, you do. I know you do. Right now I'm talking the real you. Not the fake one. What did Paul have to do? Hey, at one point he said, I beat my body. I bring it into subjection, lest after having preached to others, I should become a reprobate. 
don't you see Paul understood two souled people he knew he used to be one he knew he would never go back to the second soul he would do anything he had to do to keep from doing it including if he had to beat his own body American Christians do the opposite little temptation they fall apart Paul, no, I'm not going back to that second soul, that ugly soul. I murdered Christians there. What had he done there? He dismantled his soul. He, he dismantled it. That fake soul in there can be destroyed and dismantled by you if you will confess it and face it tonight right in your face. You have to admit you have one. It's easy to see, isn't it? If you have behaviors, attitudes, conversations, words that you don't like and you don't want and that seem to have a life of their own under certain circumstances, that's your fake soul manifesting <coughs> control over your real one. You know you have it. If you don't have those symptoms, you probably don't have one. Tonight, I'm going to introduce you to uh, the other you. Okay. Now, just for just for uh, fun, uh, everybody, just uh, close your eyes for a second, would you? I'm going to ask you a question. Raise your hand because I don't want anybody to see you. Raise your hands. How many of you, after listening to this Bible study and looking at King Ahab and David and all these guys, you know you may have a fake soul in there that causes you to act or speak a certain way, and you know that's not you? Raise your hands so nobody can see you. Ministry team, are you seeing these hands? Watch in here, please. Thank you. Put your hands down quickly. Okay, open, open your eyes. Thank you. I want to introduce you to something. You've got to dismantle this fake you tonight, and I'm going to help you do it. <laughs> You're going to pull out a Holy Ghost, Word of God, taser. And you're going to come after this thing because that thing is not you. You are not some whorish slut. You are not some raging, cursing monster. You are not some person that acts like a complete fool and lives an asinine life. That is not you. God knows it's not you. That's why Paul said in Romans, he gives more grace. The sicker you are, the more grace you're eligible for, not less. That other you tonight is going down. You know why? Because you don't want to live the rest of your stinking life like this. Sorry to be so blunt. You don't want to live like this anymore. You don't want to be like this anymore. And tonight now, I hope you were listening and saw that there's actually two yous. This one God does not love at all. That's a fake you. That's a fake soul. This one he loves. The real you. God sees the real you. And that one he loves desperately. Jesus died 
for the real you, not that fake soul. Well, this can't possibly be true. This is voodoo. Listen. Charles Manson and other people liking, other people like Charles Manson, the fake soul took over the real soul. Charles Manson, when he died, he was not there anymore. He was gone. The longer you keep that fake soul in your mind, <coughs> The stronger it gets and it will eventually beat you yeah you will finally lose your last job you will finally lose your last dollar you will finally lose your last friend you will finally lose your last relative and you will finally have your last rotten marriage and at the end of it He's going to take over. And you will be, like they say on TV, the walking dead. Let's pray then. Father God, I, uh, as usual, try my best to help tonight. But you know I can't help anybody. It has to be the Holy Ghost. I have no abilities sweet father tonight I saw several people raise their hand and a call a ministry team come forward would you I'm gonna have the altar call down at the front here come forward up here if you would help me there are people in this room tonight Lord they saw the dichotomy of King Ahab and King David they saw the personality switch they saw it and they have it they know they have it they know when the devil brings them temptations stress pressure they have a personality change something clicks inside their mind they become a different person Lord that second person must die tonight Paul said it Paul killed his fake soul and became the greatest Christian that ever lived you cannot fulfill your destiny, saints of God. You cannot with a fake soul inside your mind. Because a person with two souls, a double-minded man, is unstable in all their ways. And if you don't know you have a fake soul tonight, all you got to do is ask your relatives because other people can see a fake soul just like that. You can't hide it from people you're closest to. All right, now the people that raise their hands in this section, come on up here. I want to pray with you tonight. Come up here right now. If you raise your hand, you've got a fake soul in there. you got something controlling you. Come on over here, please. Thank you. You raised your hand a moment ago. If you didn't raise your hand, you don't need to come up. This is Dipsicus night. How about in this section here? That guy did. I know you did. Come up here. You got a fake soul. Oh, I'm sorry. You got a fake soul in there. A fake soul. A Dipsicus. You. You are a God lover. You care for the things of God. You want to serve God. The other soul doesn't, doesn't want to serve God. Correct? 
when you came down here what you're telling us is the real you came down here not the fake one correct yes. yes the real you came down here for prayer because the real you wants to serve God you don't want to live in sin anymore you don't want to live a horrible life anymore you don't want to listen to demons anymore you've had enough of it you don't want to get another bad relationship you don't want to hurt your children anymore you don't want to act like a complete idiot anymore you want it stopped correct you want another chance at life you want another chance at life that's what you want the real you wants it the real you cares the real you is not a porn addict the real you is not an adulterer no that's not the real you the real you does not hate other people that's not you that's the other soul the real you is not a drug addict the real you cares and father <coughs> sees the real you any of you are still alive you know why you're still alive you should have been dead long ago father sees the real you yes. yes it's true the Holy Ghost miraculously preserved your life when you should have been dead years ago why father saw that wasn't you drinking and taking drugs he saw that wasn't you lying and cheating it wasn't you committing crimes it wasn't you killing other people it wasn't you lying that was the other you that's the other you who dies tonight not you the other one dies like Paul said Boom. let's close your eyes now ready thank you Jesus let's get ready here Thank you, Jesus. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I am, I am paralyzed by this fake soul, a double-minded man. I never heard a teaching like this before. I did not truly understand double-mindedness until tonight. It's another soul created by evil spirits to use my emotions against me and use my body for sin and it takes over and it makes me do things I don't want to do it makes me feel things I don't want to feel it causes me to get angry and it causes me to run like a coward it causes me bitterness and anger it causes me lust that is not me and I want that fake soul dead I was not called Lord to die a double-minded person that is not my call in life far from it I was called by God I'm on a mission from God I am to fulfill my destiny I am not to die like a spiritual loser that is not for me that's not my life this fake soul took me and told me to focus on some other person this fake soul got me into a relationship that's brought me nothing but pain and sorrow this fake soul is trying to destroy me and tonight Lord Jesus this thing is going to be dismantled in the name of the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm going to crush this ugly thing and it's going to fall apart right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God I command this fake soul in my body I command this fake soul in my body say it I command this fake soul in my body 
and every evil spirit controlling it and manipulating my mind and manipulating my emotions, manipulating my body. I command this thing to break in now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break in Jesus' mighty name. Break in the name of the Lord. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Break in Jesus' mighty name. Come on. Break. Just break. Break, I said. Break. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. It's 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 not me. That's not me. That's not me. Break in Jesus' mighty name. Break, I said. Break. Break, I said. Break. That's not me. Come out. That's not me. That is not me. I command you to come out now. Break down. Beating women is not me. Running in fear is not me. Chasing other men is not me. It's not me. Come out. Fake soul, I bind your power. Come out. Fake soul, I command you to come out. Gipsicus. Gipsicus, I bind your power. Come out. Come out. That is not me. Evil. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Evil. Get out of me. Man hater. Man hater. Husband hater. That is not me. Come out of here now. Go. Come out of there. Lust. You whore. Come out of there. Demon of whoredom. Come out. Fear. It's not me. Take a breath and blow. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Come out. Come out, spirit. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Dipsicus. I bind your power. I bind your power. Come out of there. That is not me. Fear is not me. Fear is not me. It's not me. Lust is not me. It's not me. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go. Living in fear is not me. Running from my wife is not me. Get out. By the authority of the word of God. I command you. Come out of me. Fake soul. Dismantle. Dismantle now. Come out. Get out. Get. Body right now. I command you to go. Come out. Rejection. Bad men. Go. Come out of there. Let's go. Come out of that body right now. Go now. Just go in the corner. Go in the corner. Come out. Who needs prayer over here? What's your need, hon? Um, fear. Fear. When did it start? As long as I can remember. It's a little kid. There it is right there. Come out right now. Here it comes. There it is right there. Come out of there, spirit. Come out right now. A fake soul of fear. Go. Come out of her stomach. Come out. Every ugly man that ever touched you in your life comes out tonight. Get out of that body right now. Come out of her vagina. Come out of her womb. Come out of her chest right now. Go now. Come out right now. Heal. Heal. Come out right now. There it is right there. That's it right now. This is not me. This is not me. It's not me. Come out. Come out right now. Go. Go now. Come out. Terror and fear. Come out of that body. Fear and terror. I bind your power. Come out of there. Hurry up. Come out right now. Get out of my body right this second. Come out now. Hurry up. Come out. Come out of there. Come out. There it comes. Come out. Come out. 
Hold that. Hold it. Now he comes out. Go on. Come out of there. There he comes. Go now. Come out right now. Get out of that body. Come out of her body. Come out of her kidneys right there. Come out of her kidneys. Come out. Come out right now. What you need, hon? What you need? Carla. Carla? What do you want the Lord to do for you? Come out. If I need deliverance, I need deliverance. What's your symptoms? You don't have anything you need to be delivered of? That is not me. It's not you. I'm telling you, it's not you. It's not me. Get out of my body. Come out right now. Hurry up. Get out of my body. Come out right now. What you need from the Lord, honey? What's, what's wrong with you? Doubt? Come here. Over here. Over here. Thank you, Jesus. Raise your hands. Thank you, Lord. Did somebody hurt you real bad as a kid? Get out of that body. You're not done. Don't you try to hide. Get out of the body right now. Come out. Come out of there, I said. There he comes. I don't know. You don't know. You don't remember? Were you married? Did you ever hate yourself? Come out. Did you ever hate yourself? Why? It's the walk that I have. It's the walk that I have. The walk? What walk? It's just, it's just everything. It's, I don't know. Oh, now, are you going to repent of that right now? God does not hate you far from it. He's never had a bad thought about you. Because you hated yourself, you hurt him. Go ahead and repent of it. There it is right there. Come out. It's coming out now. There it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. You get out of that body right now. Don't you try to hide in there again. I told you to come out. You're coming out. All of it. Come out of there. Come out. There it comes. Spear of the fear. Come out. come out of the body. Come out right now. There it is. Terror. Fear and loneliness. Go. Come out right now. Go. Come out. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Jesus, help me. Every man that ever spoke negative things over me and verbally abused me and cursed me, I release all those curses right now. Come out. Every ugly man, go. Come out. You are, what do you think you're doing in there? Come out of that body right now. She's not going over any demons. You don't come out of there right now. Come out. Come out. Let your tears go. Come on. Come out. Come out. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out right now. There it is. Let these men go. All of them. And their demons. Out. Fire! Every man that uses the body Fire! for lust Fire! comes out now. Fire! Come out right now. Go. Come out. Come out right now. Come out. Spirit of fear, come out. Spirit of fear, come out. Get out of there. Come out right now quickly. Come out quickly. Hurry up. Come out of her body right now. Satan, I command you to go. Come out of her stomach. Come out of her womb. Take a big breath and blow. Good girl. Blow. Keep blowing. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Just repent of it. What was his name? What's his name? I just have had a lot of rejection and I've had yes men use me and I don't even know if I've been abused when I was small. I don't know. Okay. okay. Raise your hand. Dear Jesus, all the men that ever hurt me tonight, they used me for everything. Come out. They used me and I forgive them. And I bless them. And I release every one of their spirits from my body now. Take a breath and blow. Come out. Come out. Raise your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out of there. Come out. Keep blowing. Come out. Come on out. Come out right now. Come out. right now. Any transfer spirit from a, a hurtful man I dated must come out tonight. All these ugly men got to go. All these ugly men got to go. All these ugly men have got to go. All of them. Come out now. Come out now. Get out. Come out now. 
all these ugly men go tonight. Go. Every spirit from an abusive man leaves me now. Go now. Come out now. Come out now. Disappointments and heartaches and sorrows. Come out of me right now. Disobedient children. Betrayers. Go. Betrayers. Come out right now. Go. Come out right now. Come out of there. Get out of that body. He hates you now. He hates you now. He's not going to put up with you anymore. Get out of that body quicker. Come out quicker. Hurry up. Go now. Go now. Get out of that body right now. The demon of food. I bind your power. Come out of that body right now. You're trying to do it. Diabetes and high blood pressure. Come out right now. Spirit of food. Come out right now. Unclean spirit. Come out. Come out. You're trying to kill him with food. Come out right now. Go. Come out now. Go. Jesus, forgive this kid. Help this kid. Forgive this kid. <laughs> forgive this kid. Come out quicker. Come out. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Rebellion and fear. Come out. Fear. Come out right now. Fear. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Disrespect for your parents. Come out. Come out. There it is. Come out. Come out, Spirit, right now. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Hating your parents. Come out. Come out. Come out. Video games. Come out of my brain. Come out of my brain right now. Video. Go. Come out. Get out. Get out. Burning my family. Betraying my family. I'll repent of it. Come out. Spirit of lust. Come out. Lust. Porn. Food. Come out. Get out of that body right now. Hurry up. Go now. Get out. I command the second soul to dismantle. Fall apart and come out. Hurry up. Get out of my body right in a second. I want my peace from God. I want my peace from God. Come out. Anything blocking my anointing, I want to block. Come out now. Get out. Get out, spirit. Get out Fear of men. Come out right now. Fear of men. Go. Fear of men. Get out of the body now. What are you trying to stall? Come out right now. There he comes. Go now. Get out of that body right this second. Take a breath. Demon, come out right now. Spirit of rejection and fear and loneliness. Come out. There it comes right there. There it comes. Glory to God. Come out. Come out. Get out of my body right this second. Hurry up. I command this fake soul in my brain to die and come out. Die and come out. Die and come out. You fake soul. Get out of there. Yeah. Get him out of there right now. Oh, get out of the body. Demons from your husband. Go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go. Go, I said. Go. Go. Evil. 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 What do you need? What do you need? For what? What's wrong with him? You drinking? You drinking? I'm not. I I haven't drank in thirty days. Thirty days? No. Hey, who hurt you when you were young? I I don't remember if somebody did or not. How many times have you been married? This is my third marriage. What'd your first husband do to you? Emotionally, that's when I started drinking. Yeah. Well, what was his name? Um, Ron. Ron? Okay, that's it. You picked up a transfer spirit from Ron. Raise your hands. What's your name, honey? Cheryl. Cheryl, okay. Father God, I got Cheryl here. She's a beautiful woman. And she made a tragic mistake years ago.
Oh, she married Ron. And a spirit entered her body from him. There he is right there. He just jumped. And she became a drunk. And Ron must now leave in the name of Jesus. Whoa, here he comes. Come out, Ron. Come out of that body right now. Go. Come out, Ron. Take the breath and blow. Come out, Ron. Come out. Ron, come out of her right now. Ron, come out right this second. <laughs> leave me now. Every day is my second husband. You leave me now to go. Spirit of alcoholism, lift up. That's a fake soul. I am not a drunk. Now come out. Come out. Come out. There he is. Here he comes. Come up right now. There he comes. There he comes. And I want you to I want you to fight. Hold that. There, hold that. Come out right now. Go. Come out. Go. Come out. Come out of there. Keep coughing. Come out now. Go. Run. Husband. Demons from your first husband. Go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. right now. Go now. Get out of there. Get out of body right now. Alcohol. Spirit of alcohol. Come out. Come out of there, you snake. Come out of my stomach. Come out of my womb right now. Come out of my kidneys. Come out of my kidneys right now. Go. Come out. Addictions. Come out. Go now. There they come. Go now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Father God, forgive me for what I've done. Destroying my life. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me for marrying these men I should have never even shaken hands with. And I cast them out now. Now I do it, Lord. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Come out. Come out. Let your tears go. Come out. Two X Come out. 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 Come Come out. Let your tears go. Good. Come on. I'm so sorry, Lord. God, forgive me. God, forgive me. I'm so sorry I hurt them. Sorry I hurt myself. Please forgive me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Forgive me. Cast this demon of rebellion out of me right now. Come out. There it is. Come out of the snow. Come out. That's him right there. There he comes. He's coming out right now. Keep coughing. Go. Come out. This good man hurt his parents as you're pinning. Come out. He's coming out right now. Put your hands on your body. Put your hands on your body. You must take command. Come on. Repent. Pray hard. Tell the Lord you're sorry for what you've done. I have a question for you. How do you know, like, if, how do you know that you've done this and that it's like happened? <laughs> done what? That. How do you know that if you had like a double, like, soul, you have to experience it? If the, if the symptoms are gone, then it leaves so, yeah, gone. Over time, like, that just <laughs> no, no, it leaves immediately if that spirit comes out. The spirit know. is causing the no, they 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 uh, fluctuate their symptoms. They attack at different times. I had one horrible day this past week. It was just so demoralizing. Yeah. And the next day it was like, and I'm like, okay. But that sounds like a curse. Somebody ever put a curse on you? It's horrible. I you ever have anybody hate you? Right. 
Hey, can you do something? My ex-husband, probably. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? One student drew a picture of me and said I was dead with a bullet in my head. That's a curse. Okay. Raise your hands. Dear Jesus, I need to pray for these people because the Bible says we are to love our enemies. We are to pray for those who despitefully use us. And so I'm praying for them right now in the name of Jesus. And I release them to you. And I command this curse to break off of me. Right now. Break. Feel that? Something. Yeah. You lift it off you. Raise your hands. Start giggling. Go. More. Start giggling. Keep going. More. Keep going. Go. Good girl. Go. I command this fake soul. Hey, what's going on with this kid here? What's going on with him? Do you know that kid? It, no, but it was witchcraft. Witchcraft on this kid? Who, who are you? What's wrong with him? He's just obedient. Just lack of. Uh, Harmony? Defiance. Defiance. Yeah, but uh, he's been hurt, but Who hurt him when he was young? Who hurt him when he was young? Yeah. Who? I caused that cheating on his mom. You cheated on his mom? Did he find out about it? No. He was born, Pardon me? He was born after. Was he the, re it's, it's was he the result of the other woman? No, no. This is for my wife. And did he ever find out about it? Can, who, can he understand me right now? Yes. Can he? Tonight is about me getting you. Tonight is about me getting you. Hey. She did? Yeah, she did. She worked it up. She was like, bro. Get your tears gone. Dear Jesus, I'm sorry I hurt my mom and dad. No. No. Dear Jesus, forgive me for hurting my mom and dad. Dad, let your tears go. Come on, let your tears go. Go ahead. There it goes. Heal. Heal. There it is. Let your tears go. Keep crying. Come out. There you go. Come out. There it goes. Every demon from the dad, come out right now. Adultery. Come out. Go. Adultery. There it is. Keep coughing. Come out. There they come. There it comes. Glory to God. Hey, the demons are flying out of your son over there. Raise your hand. Think, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for what I've done to my family. I drove a spear into my wife's soul. I brought demons into my home and they attacked my son. He's never been the same. I repent of it with all my heart tonight, Lord. God, forgive me. God, forgive me. God, forgive me. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. You need anything? Uh, I think I'm spirit of anger out. Man, when did it start? Um, Come out. When did it start? Well, I think when I went back home, I noticed... Back home, when was that? Uh, last month. We came to see you last month. About that? three months ago, we came to see you. On yeah, what happened? Day. Oh, nothing. All of a sudden, I just find myself getting a little my anger. My For anger. no reason? Uh-huh, yeah. Is this trick? Is this click? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What triggers it? The grandkids. Grandkids. The grandkids. Because they're out of control? Yeah, their mom and dad are, uh, uh, my son came here for some deliverance and he went, he went back. He did not take our advice. 
It's so mom and dad are uh, separated and the children are being in, and uh, I just find myself being impatient with them. And okay. I just get angry. And All right. No, I shouldn't. Go ahead and tell the Lord you're sorry. I did. I did. Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry, Lord. And I want this fake soul and this spirit of anger out of me right now. Come out of my throat. Come out of my body right now. Demon of anger, come out of me. Right now. Right now, that is not me. That's you. Come out. That is not me. Come out. Come out. That is satanic anger. I am not a servant of Satan. Come out of me. Right now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Get out. Frustration with the grandkids. I repent of it. Come out right now. Hurry up. Come out right now. Come out now. Hurry up. Come out. Come out. Go. I command you to come out. Get out of that girl. I command you to come out. Get out of my body right now. Hurry up. Rage and anger. Come out. Frustration. Come out. How you doing? Doing good. How about you? What's left in there? Anything else? <sighs> I've been sick past month. Sick with? Um, it's like swollen throat. Um, it's like uh, it's kind of dry in my throat. Um, Anything else? I did find that. Well, I, the Lord's kind of been showing slowly that uh, there is pedophilia in our family. There's what? Pedophilia in the family um, that came down from my great grandfather on my dad's side. Um, and that me and my sister might have been molested by my father when we were babies. No. We don't, I break that we kind of are suspecting it. I break that down. I break that down. So, that's kind of what I've been... All right, take a breath and blow. Father God, I want you to send the Holy Spirit back two generations if you have to. Three generations if you have to. Go and hunt up every pervert in your family tree. Every pervert living in that family tree. Come out now. Here it comes. There it comes. Go. Go. Come out. You pervert. Go. Come out there, you pervert. Come out, you pervert. Pedophilia, go. Pedophilia, go. Pedophile. You pedophile, you pig, go. Hurry up and go. Come out of that body right now. Go. You come out of his brain, you mind control spirit. Get out of there, I told you, to come out of his cranium. Come out of his frontal lobe. Come out of his anterior lobe. Come out. Come out. Come out. Get out, I said. Come out of there. Come out. Go ahead, there it comes. Come out. Get on your knees right there and repent of it. Repent of being afraid. Go ahead. Come out of that body right now. Hurry up. Come out, you pervert. How are you doing? Feel lighter? Yes. Come out of it now. So much better. Uh, you do? Yes, you I speak do. in tongues? Yes. Go ahead. What? Go ahead right now. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, hey, uh, your gift of tongues is blocked. It's blocked. You're using the same two phrases. You're rotating them. Click, 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 click. Notice that? You have to notice that? Yeah, but it's... it's, it's you, you pervert, come out of there. Now, that's easy to fix, okay? Close your eyes. Repeat after me. Burra baba. Burra baba. Kelo sata. 
Kelo Tata. Velo Vasi. Velo Vasi. Kurama. Kurama. Did you notice that I was using different syllables? Yes. I was switching different <laughs> syllables, not using the same ones. Come out of there. Okay. Come out of that body right now. Hurry up. Okay. Now this time, this time we're gonna do it with your language. Only you're gonna switch syllables. Okay. And slow it down just a little. Ready? Fire. 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 Good. Switch syllables. Good. Much better. Good. How are you feeling? How'd that go? Come out. Yeah, there you pervert. Mind control. Insanity. Stupidity. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Get out of my body right now. Come out of there. Hurry up. There you go. Good. Much better. Come out. Get out of feet. Come out of feet. Come out of there, I said. Come out right now. Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get out. Come out of there, you pervert. Go. 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 Get out. Go. Come out. Go now. Hey, you speak in tongues? Um, I used to. You used to? Okay, turn around this way. You ready? You should repeat after me. Kosha ba. Velo bashite. Velo ba. Bakura. Bakura. Bondaba. Bondaba. Go. Go. Had a girl. There it's coming back. It's coming back right now. Speak it out. Speak it out. Come out of that body right now. I told you to get out of there, you pervert. Come out of there, you child molester. You fondling child molester. Come on. Go right now. Good girl. Keep going. That a girl. Beautiful. Keep going. Come out of there. Stupidity. Go. You pervert. Come out. What's wrong with her? Hey, honey, come up here. Stand up, sweetheart. What's wrong with her? She says she has her dad's demons. Oh, what's your dad's do to you? What's your dad's do to you? Um, my dad was an alcoholic. He was just very violent. He, he never did anything sexually or physically to me. Did he beat you? No. Okay. No. Just a was lot he verbally of abusive? He, yeah, he abused my mom in front of me and my brother. Okay. What's uh, his name? Reuben. Reuben? Reuben. Uh, raise your hands. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I lift my dad up to you right now. Reuben. I know it wasn't him trashing my family. I know it wasn't him giving me wounds on my soul that I'm carrying to this day. And I release my dad in Jesus' holy name. Reuben, leave me now. I forgive you and I bless you. Is he still alive? Okay, Reuben, wherever you are right now, Sweet Holy Spirit, hunt him down. Hunt him down tonight. Put your hands on him. Forgive him for what he did to his beautiful daughter. Forgive him for what he done, striking fear in her soul, insecurity, and low self-esteem. Reuben, come out now. Reuben. Daddy, I love you. We must go now. I'm replacing you with my Heavenly Father. Dad, go. Go now. Go ahead. Let your tears go. Come out. Reuben. 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 Come out. I bless my dad and I forgive him. Get out of there, you pervert. Come out right now, you pervert. Keep speaking louder. Come out right now. 
Come out right now. Fear. Low self-esteem. Insecurity. Body dysmorphia. Hating my body. Come out. Come out of there, you pedophile. Hey, you pedophile. Come out right now. Child hater. Come out. Child hater. Go now. Go now. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can draw in the Holy Ghost whenever you want it. All you do is slow your tongues down and then put a little hum to it and sing it out to it. Sing the love song. Rebosha de lola lola mushi gorara. The demon that hates children, come out of this body right now. Go. Get out of my body right now. Hurry up. I crush this second soul. I crush this fake soul. Double minded. Go. Double minded. Go. How you doing? Okay. Come out of me. You related her? No. We know each other. We used to go to the same church. Oh. What does she need from God? Huh? Her, what does she need from God? <laughs> she knows, but she won't say. Do you tell me? I don't know. What do you want I from the Lord? I want my mind to be set free. Oh, what's? How does it work? <laughs> constantly negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. Okay, when did that start? What age? Oh God! Probably like when I was like. Ten. And then somebody hurt you at that age. Who? My dad. What's My dad, name? Jesus. Jesus is still alive? Yes. Okay, that's what it is. Come on over here. So nobody can see you. Raise your hands. Lord Jesus, you see this beautiful woman standing here? Her dad hurt her very bad. Oh, there it goes. Her dad hurt her very, very bad when she was young. Hey, Zeus. Transfer the spirit into her brain. Mm -hmm. And tonight, Jesus must leave his daughter and come out. He must leave her for the rest of her life. And he must be replaced with her heavenly father, who would never hurt her in a million years. Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of your daughter right now. There he is. Come out, Jesus, come out. Come out of that body right now. Jesus, come out of there right now. Hurry up. Come there it comes. Keep coughing. Come out. Come out. There it goes. Come out. Come out of there. Come out right now. Hold that. Come out right now. Go. Come out right now. Jesus, come out right now. Come out of your daughter. Leave your daughter. Come out of her throat. Come out of that throat right there. Come out right now. Spirit, I told you to come out of her right now. Come out right now. Lust and anger. I command you to come out right now. Fear. Low self-esteem. Low self-concept. Come out right there. Go now. Come out right now. It's her dad. Jesus. Come out right now. Come out. Jesus. Come out right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. I release my dad and I let him go now. I release all my dad's evil spirits. I release the pain he caused my family. I release the pain he caused me. And I turn my life over to the Lord 100%. Come out. There he is. Come out of there. Come out of there, you rotten demon. Come out of her body. Come out. Don't tell me no. Come, tell me yes. Come out. Come out of her feet. Right this second. Come out. You tried to get her to go home tonight without getting delivered. I saw you. You tried to get her to leave. Too bad. Come out right now. Get out of her stomach. There he is. Come out of her stomach right now. Hurry up. Hey Zeus, I command you in the name of Jesus, all your demons, come out of your daughter and let her go. Come out. Let her go. Hey Zeus. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her spine right now in Jesus' holy name. Come out of that spine right now. Get out of that body. Set her free. I command you to set her free. I receive my Heavenly Father. I release my dad right now. I release my dad from my soul right now. Go. Go now. 
Hey Zeus, come out, I said. I let my dad go. I let my dad go. Come on, turn him over to the Lord. Let your dad go. Give him to God. Can you do it? Let him go. Come on. Let him go. Let your dad go so you can be healed. Release your dad. Come on. Release your dad. Let your dad go. Release him. Come on. Yes. Yes. You let him go right now. Don't say no. You say yes. There you go. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Mind control. Get out of that brain. Stop stealing her thoughts. Stop putting lies in her mind. Stop putting perverted thoughts in her brain. Stop giving her sex dreams. Come out right now. Come out, buddy. Go. Come out. There he is. Come out of her throat. Right there he is. Come out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come out. Get out of the throat like a second. Hurry up. <coughs> there he is. Keep coughing. Come out. <coughs> there it goes. Keep coughing. Come out. Keep going. Come on, sweetheart. Fight. Come out right now. Fight, sweetheart. Come on. Come. No, you say yes. Get out. Come on. Get out. You cannot take this demon home with you tonight. He is going to try to kill you. He's going to bring you more bad men. Yes, he is. He's going to bring you bad men. Now, come on. Just repent. Jesus, save me. Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, save me. Come out. Come out. Every boyfriend that ever touched my body, I release him right this second. All of them. Get out of my mind right now. Come out of my dreams. Come out of my subconscious. Mind control. Come out of my face. Come out of there. Right now. Go right now. Come out of my spine. Come out of my cervical vertebrae right now. Come out right now. Get out of my head in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. No, you don't say no, devil. You don't say no. You don't say no. Come out right now. Come out. You have to leave her if she rejects you. If she rejects you, you must leave. I command this mind control spirit to come out of my brain right this second. I command you to come out by the blood that Jesus shed. Get out of my head right now. Hurry up. Get out of my head right this second. Come out of her. Come out of her now. I'm not turning my mind over to you anymore. Come out right now. No, you don't say no. He says yes. He says yes. Come on, honey. Just repent. Just repent. Come on. Lord, forgive me. Say it. Please forgive me for my sin, for putting other things ahead of you, for not giving you first place in my life. I repent of it. I receive Jesus tonight. My Lord and my Savior forever. And I command the spirit to come out of my brain. Oh, there it goes. Get him out of there. Come out. Come out right now. Spirit, I'm turning my life over to the Lord. You can't stop me. You cannot stop me if I decide to do it. If I decide to do it, you must go. You must come out if I decide to do it. Come out. Right now. Come out of me right this second. Come out of me right now, I said. Go. Yes, you got to go. You got to go. There you go. Good girl. Say it. Say it like you mean it. Fight hard. Come on, sweetheart. Fight hard. Say it. Come out of me right now. Go right now. I said out. YouTube. Go to the website. HardcoreChristianity.com Go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com, and hit the post deliverance button. Hit the post deliverance button. Hit the teaching button. And read the article, How Satan Controls the Mind. Come on. You must fight. You must fight back. You must fight. Go to the website. I'll see you. Love you.
go to the website hardcorechristianity.com you must read those articles so you do not lose your deliverance or your healing tonight there he is Hey, that was the best offer call yet. Hmm, yeah. We'll keep working on him and get him as good as Rick. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Good to nice see you. seeing you again. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Man.